So I want to talk about a system that would have a two-phase region in its in its uh, ternary plot. Ternary plot. So the system will be made up of water, H2O, oil, and a surfactant. And that would be a mixture of these two surfactants. Surfactant. I may not have spelled that right, but oh well. So the surfactant would be up here. The water will be over here, H2O. And the oil will be all the way over here. So let's have this be our region. Probably not the best, but it will get us where we are. We know when we mix water and oil, which is right here, right here, water and oil, we will get a two-phase system. You would expect for a system that is made up of just water, you would expect the water to be on the bottom, so H2O and the oil to be on the top. Oil. So you have this two-phase region right here. So what happens when you add the surfactant? Well then, I guess I should explain what a surfactant is. It's basically, it's the thing that goes between the water and oil that allows them to interact with each other. So water, we know we know that water is an oxygen attached to a hydrogen attached to a hydrogen and it interacts with hydrogen bonding so you have another oxygen or water molecule and you have this uh, hydrogen bond which is really strong water is hydro uh, hydrophilic it wants to be with other things that have hydrogen bonding tendencies and oil again is just long chains long chain carbons that have no uh, hydrogen bonding or any ionic, uh, not ionic, but uh, dipoles are on them. What a surfactant is, and this is oil, water. Uh, surfactant is it's a it's a basically you could think of it as a waterhead attached to a long carbon chain. So you may have an oxygen attached to a hydrogen. And then you have this long carbon chain. So this carbon chain want it, wants to interact with the oil, and this hydrogen and this oxygen want to interact with a water molecule. So then if you get a lot of these, you'll get a bunch of carbons, or the oil, and then you'll have these surfactants, which I'm drawing like this, with the polar head, this, the head's polar, and the body is uh, nonpolar, so it looks something like this. And so you have the oil, and these will come around completely. And you have the H2O just interacting with the polar head groups, so just water molecules. I'm not drawing that to scale, but I mean, it's just a surfactant. It's on the surface layer, and it allows for them to combine and mix together. So the more surfactant you have, the less likely it is that you'll have a layer that is just a water and a layer that is just an oil. These surfactants will begin interacting with the water, and they don't want to just interact with the water. They want to interact with the oil as well. So then you go up, and maybe at the f when you have uh, we have a phase like right here, right there, you have about 50% are, you have 30% oil and 30% water, but you have a ton of this surfactant, so a lot of the surfactant and stuff, it's just interacting, so you have now the, there is no clear phase of just oil and water, it's oil, water, so now you have the oil, water, <laughs> and the sur little the surfactant interacting. So I mean that's not to scale. It's homogeneous on a large level. Like I could just pour out some of the oil, or put a straw down and then suck out some of the water. But this point I can't separate the water and oil at this point. 
nor could I do it at this point, this point, or this point. All this is one phase. And that I hope that explains why at this area where you don't have a lot of surfactant, it's one uh it's two phases. Even though you do have a little bit, it's not enough to really uh to really break it up into two separate phases. It's not just water in one phase anymore down here. Once you go up a little bit, like maybe right here you have, or right here at this point, you have uh, one phase that is about 88% 88% H2O and uh, 7% oil and uh, I don't know what this is adding up to. 6%? That can't be. 5%? That's close. 5% surfactant. I'll just control that with an S. And then the other part of that, the other phase in the system would be uh, mostly oil being around. 65% uh, oil. 65% oil. Very little water, maybe 15% water. Yeah, 15% water. And and 30%. 30% surfactant. So I hope that kind of explains why in a... If you have three different components, why you would have multiple... Why you would have maybe one phase in one area and two phases in a different area. And I'm not really going too great in depth in this. I mean, you have to, this would be more of a chemistry video explaining why, why the, the surfactant interacts with the, the, uh, carbon and water. But, I mean, surfactant is what it looks like. It's surface, basically. So it's a surface interface between the water and oil. So, and I guess you can make sense, because in this phase, the surfactant is going to be completely covering all the oil, so you'll have little oil droplets in a giant pool of water. Oil droplets and water. But on this one, you would actually have water droplets with the surfactant and oil. So... That's the conceptualized understanding, and I'm probably not explaining this very well, but my best at doing it. <laughs>